All the things that have been built in Dubai were never replaced. It's actually school wall. Look here, for example, this one's called Dubora and Business Bay. The one, as in collision, this one actually. This one is a big core over there. Cool. And we have a column, the column, you know, has nothing to do with the other force. It's a column only to carry the vertical force. So, cool, everywhere cools. Another tower, this one is a training tower, a lot of towers there. This one is training, it's repeating, and this one is inclined. Everything is a core, and the, 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 the outer shape is done by what? Columns, which is not gonna resist in any earthquake or wind. So, we're gonna have a big core and connect with, uh, let's say, inclined or rotating elements. But the main thing is a core. The main equation, which I'm gonna play about, is the core itself. As much as I can make our core bigger, it's gonna be good. Another thought over there. Yeah, this one is PWTC, it's Bahrain World Trade Center. It's done by Atkins, I think. Yeah, I, I'm sure, I'm not saying I don't think. But, but then, look, we have a cool words and cheer words. Cool, the, the main issue over there. Cool, 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 cool is very important. Cool, not cheer words, cool. Okay, we have another tower over there. This one HSB in Hong Kong again. We have a big cool, 10 meter cool. Can make the design feature just to form the outer shape, the outer hull of the tower. It still have a cool. Cool is something important. The maximum distance you can keep at the diameter or the dimension of the core is the best. Okay, let's go to other, uh, our guy, just uh, my friend over there, just to tell what if I have two G walls together in, in a series. We have two, initial two here, initial two here, two here. So we're gonna have what? Four. We're gonna have four. That's just summation, okay? But what if we connect them together? What do we have? 0.2 multiplied by 10 cubed by 12, so it's gonna be 200, or 200 by 12, it's gonna be 20. Four. So if we have two cushy walls, I'm just gonna push right now. If you have two shoe walls and you connect them together, you're gonna have a huge number, number of inertia. And it's just big. So why don't we connect shoe walls together? Why should we keep only shoe walls, shoe walls? If you can't connect them together, it's gonna be the other solution. But sometimes you can. I have one shoe over there, and I have shoe wall over there. I have to think about how to connect them together. How to do, for example, I can't connect them by another shoe walls in between. But I lose everything. I can't. What if I connect them by spandar beam, cabling beam, something very strong? It will be good. So what if I just connect by small thing? It will not do anything. Because it's very simple. If someone to rotate, someone to rotate, that will not affect anything. But the one is the ultimate, I'm sorry, the ultimate capacity over there. So if we cannot reach this, reach this one, we have to go to this one. If we can not go, for example, let's say the reverse one, if we can not go for 20, the one is 20. If we can not go for 20, please go for 15. Don't go for the one. So you have to think about spandar beams. If you have two chi walls, connect them by spandar beam or coupling beam. Okay, what if I have this one? The same thing actually. It's called coupled chi wall. It's not called coupled chi wall. The system here is coupled chi wall. What if I have core, one core over there, and I have opening it there and opening it there? Connect them by coupling beam, coupling beam. Same thing. You get again a lot of resistance, a lot of inertia. So if you have cool, just don't keep everything separate, just connect them by thunder beams. It's called coupled core. But even if you have more than one core, please couple them once again by thunder beam. A thunder beam is a magic thing. If you have, for example, the ability of restructure, for example, 20 seconds, by some coupling we're gonna be five. Good mean? As much strength as strong as you can. Okay, if you have, for example, if you cannot mix uh, here, uh, spandar beam, because of the architecture requirement or something, what should you do? Just make this, uh, this portion of the slab very thick. This portion of the slab only 2 meters, so it can require only 15 centimeters thickness. No, 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 don't make like this. Make it 40, make it 50. Why? Because we're seeking what? We're seeking connection between the core and the core. So, you're gonna have a lot of towers, which you don't have only small slab, the slab is only. 2 meters, 2 meters, 4 meters, but still we have 40 or 50 meters, it's not so limited in seconds. Why? Because it's one connecting two worlds together to work with each other and the key gain a huge number of stiffness. Uh, so we just got up, coupling is very good, we have to couple our cores, we have to go for that uh, goal. But what if I have one building like that one? I have to make a core, I know. What is the ultimate solution to make a core around all the tower? The one. So it's going to be called outer closed core. I have to make core everywhere. Chew everywhere. And get it towards the facade. No one can see anything outside. Keep everything by the inside. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, that's it's so good. It's so good. You have to have more. So what should I do? I'm going to make opening over there anyway. I connect them again once by 
Standard beam. So we're gonna have something called partial outer core. Partial, I have outer core, I have gained the maximum, the ultimate capacity of the core, but still, I'm not gonna lose because we have one over there. We have something in the side. I'm gonna make here opening, but still I'm gonna make what? Coupling beam. So, coupling beam is something which enhances our core. We're gonna work in ultimate capacity. Accord, but why should I go to the side and ruin it? Ruin means make it bad. Why should I ruin it? What should I do? Just shift your core. Okay. Shift your core from the facade to one in general plane over there. Don't keep your core wheel here over there. Just shift it there and there, okay? So you're gonna shift the, 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 the core wall from the outer face of the building and generally, for example, one room, one panel of two rooms. Gonna be good. And still you have your spandrel beam. And say so you have the spider beam, so the beam over there, over there, over there. So it's called partially semi-outer cool. Why it's semi-outer? Because it's not outer, it's not there. Why it's partially? Because it's spider beam everywhere. So it's gonna be partially semi-outer cool. Okay, but, uh, okay, and I have another thing. Don't you think that we have a cool over there because of lifts and stairs and everything? We can even connect the outer, or let's say same outer core, with the internal core and connect them together. By that one, actually, we're going to have, for example, 100 floor. What I'm saying right now, 100 floor. Means we can watch small towers. Okay? So, uh, what if now we have come up with the one? Partial same outer core with inner core. Connect them together by thunder beam. Take one, it's thunder beam. And they have here a good facade. Everyone can see the sea, can see everything. But, why shouldn't they make full use of this column? The column is nothing. Yeah, it's carrying vertical load. What if I want them to carry horizontal load? Can I? Can I? Very simple. Let me right now. I have my body. I have two arms over there. I'm gonna connect my arm and my arm here, my arm here, to one column. So if anyone wants to push me over in this direction, what will happen? There is tension coming here. That that will happen actually. Now I have one core. The one, for example, is two uh, hundred floor. Let's say hundred floor. Or well, let's think about one floor only. Let's say two uh, ten floors, whatever. So, in the single swan, uh, we just uh, Y force over there, gonna bend. To decrease the bend, just make one arm here, one arm here, and connect this arm with the column. We're connecting the, our core or our shoe wall with the columns, not the shoe walls. If we connect to the other shoe walls, it's not outrigger. So I'm called outrigger, outrigger. Just to connect my whole, my the body or the body of the resistance, which is a core wall, by in our outer column. One column over there to get tension, and another to get conversion. Okay, one big thing they say, actually, okay, we're gonna get tension, tension, column can't get tension. There's a problem over there. How can I get tension? No, don't, don't, don't be angry, don't be worried, don't be concerned. Why? Because the column already can't the conversion from the load of the floor itself. You're gonna decrease the load, you're gonna serve the column. The I'm gonna tell you, thank you, you have just rescued with a lot of loads. Okay? So, the cold outlet, what's outlet actually? You have your internal core and internal core, and you have.